My musketeer, Athos, is in the Bastille, imprisoned by your orders. Why, Your Eminence? Why? I suspect him of comforting the king's enemies. Athos was mistaken for D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan? Devil, take it, Treville. This is serious. It is indeed, Your Majesty. When the word of a civilian counts against the honor of a soldier, what enemies? When? I would have asked him to account for his movements yesterday evening. Then you would have done better to question me. How come? I can account for the loyalty of Monsieur d'Artagnan while we supped together last night. Does that satisfy your eminence? I'm bound to accept the word of Monsieur de Treville. Then will your majesty sign this order for the release of your musketeer? At once. I am deeply grateful, Your Majesty. Cardinal, what lies behind this affair? I was hoping to have managed it without troubling Your Majesty, but even my police are yes, not infallible. Yes, but the facts. Buckingham has been in Paris. Infamous! Here? He came secretly. And in my efforts to discover his whereabouts, Athos was inadvertently arrested. Is he still in Paris? We were too late. By the time we had found his lodging, he was on his way back to England. Why was he here? What did he come for? To conspire, no doubt, with your enemies, the Huguenots and the Spaniards. No, pardon you, no. To conspire against my honor. Son, unthinkable. The Queen is too virtuous. Besides, she loves your majesty too well. The woman is a weak cardinal. If the Queen be guilty, let her tremble. I have long suspected this liaison. Your majesty is unjust. You grow bold, Monsieur Cardinal. Your Majesty obliges me to be bold. I am convinced that Buckingham came here for a project wholly political, and that the Queen is deeply unhappy because she fears that you have ceased to love her. Affairs of state make unending demands upon a king. So, now you would defend her and blame me. The Queen is one of the greatest princesses in the world, and a devoted wife. Allow me to intercede for her. In what manner? Very simply. Show her that despite your royal preoccupations, she still holds your affection. Oh, that's all very well. But how? The Queen loves dancing. Give a ball in her honor. Oh, you know well how I hate such poverty. The Queen will be the more deeply touched by the attention. We will see. Are you then so sure there is not between her and infamous Buckingham? Do as I advise, sire. Give this ball. Her Majesty's demeanor will swiftly tell you where her heart lies. If I agree, when would be a suitable occasion? On the 3rd of August, the aldermen of the city are giving a fete. That would fall in remarkably well with a royal ball. Then I shall so order it. Have you no more admirable suggestions? One that occurs to me this instant. And what prayer is that? The diamond studs which you gave Her Majesty on her birthday. The Queen has had no opportunity of wearing them. Tell her, sire, that you would like to see how they become her. It will give her infinite pleasure. Part you, Cardinal. That is an admirable suggestion. You're a good lad. They serve naught but foul water in the Bastille. Tell my master you were here. I say, Mr. Athos is none the worse for a night spent in the Cardinal's dungeon. How is the wine, my dear? Oh, Portas, my friend, I suffered the tortures of unrequited thirst. <laughs> my throat burns like a kiln. Come. You will burn me a bottle of potency at the king's head. With what? I haven't got any money. Portas, your pockets must be bursting with pistols. You have a duchess for a mistress? Well, I can hardly ask her. Ah, oh, never mind, never mind. I will pay. Come, friends. <laughs> Thanks, my friend. But we must have the studs from Buckingham. There is yet time. Oh, my darling. Whom can I trust? Put your trust in me, madame. No. I will find a messenger. But I would have to write a letter to the Duke of Nassau. Two words from your majesty's hand and your private seal will suffice. But those two words could bring me to ruin. Exile, even the scaffold. If they fell into the cardinal's hands. But I will answer for their safe delivery. Oh, dear God! Must I again place my life, my reputation in your hands, child? Madame, you must. And I will save them both. Dear Bonacieux, do you love your queen so much? More than my own life. I believe that you do. 
the confidence I have in you must extend to an unknown messenger. Oh, he is not unknown to me, madame. He is my husband, a good, honest man, who entertains neither love nor hatred for anybody. He will do anything I wish. Then you shall have your two words. Eight hours, night guard. I'm tired. Planchet! Will you eat now, master? No. I'll sleep first, and I'll eat later. Thank you, master. Mind you, wake me at six. Go away, master. <sighs> I won't be late. Uh, if you are, I'll thrash you. I thought you would be glad to see me. Madame, I've been much concerned. You knew, Madame, I was arrested. Yes, I heard the day that it happened. You do not sound very much concerned for me. Dear husband, I wasn't. Hmm? I knew you were guiltless of any crime and were bound to be released. So it proved. You speak very much at your ease. I was flung into a dungeon, treated like a common felon. Suffered much anxiety. A day and a night has soon passed. Let us come to what brings me here. Then it is not the desire to see me, your husband, whom you have not seen for a week? Yes, of course. But something of importance besides. Huh? There is a good and holy action to be performed. And much money to be gained at the same time. How much money? Perhaps a thousand pistols. What is to be done? You are to deliver a letter to London. London? Well, no, Jesse, I have no business in London. It is not your business. An illustrious person sends you. An illustrious person awaits you. The recompense will exceed your desires. That is all, I promise you. Oh, madam, I will not go. But you must. Oh, a thousand pistol, a ten thousand pistol. Your words speak of intrigue. You cannot fail me now. Madam, it is myself I shall not fail. Much has changed, wife, since I saw the cardinal. The cardinal? Yes, I was brought before him after my arrest. Oh, bon monsieur, did he ill treat you? He gave me his hand, called me his friend. There, yeah, madam, I am the friend of the great cardinal. And there is proof of his goodwill toward me. He gave you money. Yes, and set me free. Hence, for what I acknowledge, no other power save that of his eminence, who I have the honor to serve. Cardinalist! Who serves Richelieu? Serves Satan! Madam, I will not listen to this blasphemy. You listen to me. You're my wife of the Jews. Did you know that I had been arrested? And why? To tear from me by torture. Any word that could compromise the honor of my royal mistress. But your royal mistress is a perfidious foreigner. Sir, what the cardinal does is right. I knew you were cowardly, avaricious, and idiotic. Hmm? But I didn't know you were infamous. Be silent, madam. Be silent. Help me in this. Please. And I will restore to you my affection. Oh, oh madam. I cannot. Intrigue frightens me. I've seen the Bastille. I've seen the torture room. Wedges of wood did drive between your knees to crush your joints. Well, so be it. Hmm. Let us say no more about it. Uh, at least tell me what the purpose of this mission to London was. I fear I made more of it than the business warranted. Oh, two moments ago, you said it was of the highest importance. It was no important. Well, I wouldn't it, know what the business... It concerned one of those purchases which interest women, a purchase by which money might have been gained. I have no wish to discuss it further. Very well. Where are you going? I have an engagement with a friend, and I know you will come here. I would not have made it. Then let me not delay you. Will you be staying here? I shall rest a little while, and then return to the Louvre. Very well, madame, I bid you good day. Oh, dear God! What am I to do? Madame Bonacieux? Who? Who called? Madame Bonacieux, it is I, D'Artagnan. <laughs> Overheard. Enough to know that your husband is a blockhead and a fool. Madame, you have need of me. Oh, God knows I have need of something. And the Queen has need of a trusty messenger. 
have you there? Understood so much. All. Madame, since I love you, since I would go through fire for you, since I am brave, loyal to the throne, I am your man. So you say. I'm honorable. I believe it. And I am brave. Of that I can quite see. Put me to the test. Oh, my heart tells me I should. Madame, do you love me in return? Yes. Yes, I trust you. to help me, we must make our plans. You will need money for the journey. Oh, so I shall. And perhaps you have none. Perhaps it's too much. Then take this purse. But it's the Cardinal's. <laughs> it pleases me to save the Queen with the Cardinal's money. <laughs> Shh. I think my husband is returning. Quick. This way. First, get your wife to the I'll wait here. Very well. Doubtless she's returned to the room. Is that young guardsman here? Monsieur D'Artagnan. I think not. His servant may be upstairs. Make certain we cannot risk being overheard. I know that voice. Did he? It's my man of mine. For pity's sake, but to betray us now. I've sworn to kill him. Shh, my son. Does your oath matter more than the Queen's service than me? Monsieur D'Artagnan! Roger! Is your master in? Hello? Get the house to ourselves. Good. You really consider my news to be of importance? Of the greatest importance, my dear Benassia. But you handle matters very poorly. Poorly? In what manner? You should have pretended to accept the mission. That way we would have the letter. The state which is now being in danger would be safe. And you? Me? And you, well, the Cardinal would have given you letters of nobility. Oh, I see my mistake, but it's soon put to rights. How? I shall go back to the Louvre, to my wife, tell I have changed my mind, and I'm ready to help her. Will she believe you? Oh, yes, silly goose, she adores me. Oh, fool! Then the moment she gives me the letter, I shall take it straight to his eminence. Straight? No. Make all possible haste. Every minute, Count. I shall go at once. Au revoir, my dear Count. Au revoir. Queen's letter for the Cardinal, and for me, letters of nobility. Monsieur le Baron, Bonacieux. My money. Cardinal's purse. Thieves! Thieves! No. The house is locked. I mean, oh, the wretch to rob her own husband. Wretch. We are safe. Safe and alone. And now it is our turn to escape. Courage. And above all, prudence. Dear Constance. And remember that you belong to the Queen. The Queen and you. Have no fear, beloved. I shall be worthy of her gratitude. Only. Yes. My friend. Shall I be worthy of your love?
my lord. What is it? You were having a bad dream. A bad dream? No, madam. I was in paradise. I then conclude, finally, as your majesty knows, my health is giving way under this everlasting work. I shall, no, say I may, never be able to withstand the fatigue of the siege of Lago Rochelle. It would be better to employ some valiant man whose profession is to conduct a war, rather than me, a churchman continually turned aside from my vocation in order to indulge in affairs for which I am entirely unfit. Set this forth there and I will add my seal. She has them, Rochefort. Then the game is won. But your Not yet. The cards are running for us. You should have had. Your Reverend? My Lady de Winter is, as usual, short of money. Her message says that she requires 500 pistoles in order to join me here. You will draw that sum on my account and take it to her in London. Yes, Your Eminence. When do I leave? Tomorrow morning will be soon enough. You will also require an order signed by me permitting you to cross the Channel. Are we then at war with England? Not yet, but I am at war with His Grace of Buckingham, and he must have no hint of what is afoot. I understand, Your Eminence. You will not lead our armies, Your Eminence. Do not meddle in affairs of state. To that fool Bonacieux failed us. He said his wife swore there was no letter. Oh, but there was, my friend, from the Queen to her lover. Our pretty seamstress has found another messenger, that's all. We must not allow him to reach England. A desperate mission, D'Artagnan. Monsieur de Treville, the honor and perhaps the life of the Queen is at stake. What are you saying? I'm saying that the chance has made me master of a secret. Well, keep your secret, young man. Tell me what you want. I want you to obtain for me 15 days' leave from the guards. When? This very night. Do you leave Paris? Yes. Can you tell me where? London. Has anyone an interest in preventing you from this design? The Cardinal would give all the world to prevent me. Do you go alone? Yes. You wouldn't get past Bondi. You'd be assassinated. An enterprise of this kind, four must go, so that one at least may succeed. Oh, Captain, I never thought that you would release them. Oh, devil, take it, man. If you break my fingers, we won't be able to run out the leave cart. Oh, thank you, Captain. <laughs> thank you. What's all this, Atos? Fifteen days' leave to take the water that forged for the healing of your wound, Treville. Isn't your wound healed? Perfectly. Then why have I been assigned the task of wet nursing you at Forge? Upon my word, I do not well know. Since when have they granted leave to musketeers without their asking for it? Porthos, I smell a Gascon plot. Let us put your question to Monsieur d'Artagnan. My well, poor Duchess will cry her eyes out. I can't possibly leave Paris now. But I can't possibly leave Paris now. I'm, I'm in the middle of my thesis on Santo Agustin in, in Latin. What does this signify? It means that you must pack all that you will need for 15 days' journey and follow me. Impossible. D'Artagnan, I... I must confide in you. I'm, I'm waiting for a message from a certain person. A woman, is it not? Adamis, would you put your love for the Duchesse de Chevreuse before your duty to the throne? What do you know of my affairs? Enough. Oh, Adamis. Trust me. Trust me. Where is he? Where is your master, Rome? Here, Portas. Adamis, mm. this pass. Did you ask for it? No, I did. What, an hour's too? It's something new, my dears. Yes, we're going away, it seems. Where? Uh, London. Well, what the devil are we going to London for? These leave passes signify, gentlemen, that you must follow me. To the waters at Forge? There or elsewhere. What, in the service of the king? Of the king or of the queen? Are we not servants of them both? Oh, my poor duchess. I mean, must we go? Is it an order? Yes, Portas. I'm afraid it is. I thought as much. It is a Gascon plot, Portas. Well, it cost us our heads, D'Artagnan. In all probability. Excellent. Let us start. But I don't understand. Uh, is it a campaign? 
And a dangerous one. If one knew why... Nay, Aramis. Does the king usually give you his reasons? He tells you bluntly, go and fight, and you go. D'Artagnan is right. Behold, gentlemen, three leaves of absence signed by Monsieur de Treville. Well, let us go and be killed. D'Artagnan, I am ready to follow you. And I also. Aramis. Well, after all, I shan't be sorry to leave Paris. I, I need distractions. <laughs> you shall have them. <laughs> when must we start? At once. Uh, Paris first, for a minute to be lost. Now, Fossey, sell my horse. Look at him. Now, my advice. Measure. Get your info. Load them up. Grimo, take them wide. Hold. Now, my advice is as follows. Calais, did you say? Well, I'll go first to Boulogne to clear the road. Now, this is clever. Two hours later... My advice is to foil our enemies. We wear our servants' clothes. No. Let us take our servants, but don't confide in them. A secret may, perchance, be betrayed by gentlemen. It is almost always sold by servants. Thought as your plan is impractical. I am the bearer of this sealed letter. If I be killed, one of you will take it. And if he be killed... Bravo, D'Artagnan. The survivor will deliver it. We set out together. One by one, we are easy prey. But together, united, gentlemen, the four of us is a troop. All for one and one, one for all! all. Eight men riding hard this way, Excellency. If we are to die, I should at least like to know why. Is it matter is life worth that much? I'd like to know why we ride. The honor of a very fine lady. One for all, and all for one! All for one! Hey. 